Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, let's see, I, I had to clean my GoPro up because uh, where it plugs in for the power, it just, I reckon it got sticky stuff in there. And it just was not making a good connection. But anyway, um, I have an old, uh, I reckon vintage type of uh, candlestick holder that was my mom. She's got like three of these. And they're different colors and and the cup comes out and it was this one was colored like an orangish yellow color the other one's red and the other one's like a blue or green or something like that i can't remember but anyway um i thought you know i want to make something like this but i want the fat wood cup to be big enough around where i can set this uh glass cup inside of it because i want the fat wood, I want the light of the candle to shine through the fat wood and the colors of the, the, the uh, resins in the fat wood to show. Anyway, so I want to make a candlestick holder. Those are beautiful, though. Those are absolutely gorgeous. They made some beautiful things back when my mom and dad were growing up. These days, they make everything in in other countries and it's just manufactured and it's just you know they pop them out you know 10,000 a day the same identical thing and it's just it's not special anymore it's not unique and one of a kind that's why I like to do wood turning because it's unique it's one of a kind it's something that you made and nobody else has made it like it in the whole world and uh, it, it's special. You put your heart and your soul in it. You pour your sweat and your your hard, you know, your time into it, and 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 you and you enjoy it, and you you put your love into it, and you know, and to be able to give it as presents to people, people in your family or, or good friends, or people you love. So uh, anyway. And I'll be back. My son's pulling up in my truck, so I better go. Okay, so anyway, uh, out here I have a piece of wood. It is a nice piece of wood, but the problem is it does have some barbed wire sticking out of it. Let's see. Make sure I get my video camera in properly. Yeah, I'm, I, I got the uh, fire pit in the background. I'm not trying to film it, but it happens to be over where I'm doing stuff. Uh, yeah, I got to burn down my shavings, you know. So, uh, I, I got shavings all over the place. Anyway, it's got some barbed wire in it. Uh, I think this would be an absolutely beautiful piece, though. Uh, some of this barbed wire kind of fat wood has been used before is very hard and dense and it's so old it's kind of darkened with the wood it's beautiful wood so this would be a long piece i don't know if i can make it that long that's very long but i gotta process it down a little bit best i can this barbed wire sticking in there i just don't know i get barbed wire bullets you name it. Okay, I, I had problems with my video camera. I had to take it off of me so I can figure out what's going on. Turn it on and off. But anyway, this, uh, I just measured this. It's about 20 inches long. It's a beautiful piece. It's a great granddaddy type fat wood. Uh, I processed it down on the edges some. It's still got some barbed wire in it. Right there's some barbed wire. And then it's got some more pieces. There's one over here. Right down here by my finger. So when I get over there, there's one right in here too. Right in there. You see the metal shining. So uh, when I get in those areas, I'll know what to do and like shaving it down on the, each side until I can slowly pry. Anyway, um, I'm going to get right to it and we're going to win to, uh, I'm going to mount it on the uh, lathe here, okay? Okay, I'm back. Anyway, um, uh, I'm thinking on 
making the tenon down here because of this rotten area. This is thicker right here. And uh, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is take this off and cut it right here. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and make a tenon down here. Now I gotta remove this barbed wire later. Well, there's barbed wire right in here too. See, I shaved it down on the edges and I'll do that more later. And uh, now I gotta get work on this uh, barbed wire a little bit. So I can pry that out. That's right right there. I can't even get to the center. There's another piece right there. All right, I gotta get some pliers. So I gotta slowly work this stuff out. Hopefully. I mean, sometimes it just doesn't work out the way you want it. <clears throat> Let's see. Broke that off. There's still some in there, that's for sure. But I'll tell you what, whoever put this in there knew what they were doing. Huh? Making a fence or something? I reckon making a fence. They had to been. What in the world is it doing out in the middle of the woods if they made a fence with it? That's what I don't understand. I reckon it wasn't a woods there at one time. Now, that's just strange because I've found some fat wood all up in the woods with barbed wire on it. And, you know, there's foliage, there's trees all around. And I reckon at one point it, it wasn't like that. And that, that's amazing to me. You know, it, this world looked different 50 or 100 or 200 years ago. So who, who knows? And, and we don't even know how old this is. How do we know? We don't even know. It might have gone back to the Civil War for all we know. And that's amazing stuff. So we, we don't even have an idea of how old this is. But it's pretty old to be all up in the woods, tr big trees growing around it, stuff all over the place. And it's got barbed wire in it. So I know they built it for, built something over there. They had something out there at one time. That's pretty cool stuff. Wouldn't it be neat to know, and I've thought about this quite a few times, that when you're walking in the woods, if you could go back in history as you're walking to find out who all has been over there and what all happened as you're walking through the woods that would be pretty cool like watching a film just just my thoughts i have weird thoughts sometimes We got some more. That's a nice big chunk I got out of there, there. Mm. So I got a nice long chunk right there. Nice, scraggly looking one. It's on down in here still. Mm. I broke that off right there. And see, as I get closer and this will be the stem, so it's not going to matter that 
I leave it there for now. The important part is going to be the cup. So I cut the barbed wire side off. It was over here. So the only barbed wire I'm dealing with is in the center. So if I leave a little bit in the center of the stem, that's fine. I mean, it'll probably give it some support, right? Okay, let's see about getting this out. Because we got to make the stem smaller, so we do got to get some of this out. Oh, we got that out. All right. Look at there. And then we just shave it down as we go, huh? And, uh, but I'm not going to shave it down that far. Woo! That's a bad looking area, too. But it is hard as a rock. So I'm just going to work on this area. All right, um, let's see. Let me see what I can do in this area just a little bit. I still got to work on that. But mainly the cup, we got to get started. And then I'm going to go get something to eat. So I don't know it's going to make it. I may have to leave that as an imperfection too. I just didn't think about how deep that was. That is very deep. But anyway, it's a very long piece. So I don't know how well it's going to do when I'm trying to open this up. We'll see. back uh, it's the next day it's Sunday and it's raining outside again uh, the good thing is it's keeping the temperatures down I love that Ooh, it's nice outside it's not so hot and sweltering hot but anyway um, get back to this piece this piece here I mean it started off where it looked like it was very promising it looked like it was gonna be a good solid piece of wood it, I thought that this kind of uh, uh, deterioration was just on the outside mainly, but it's gone so deep that it pretty much, if I try to make a thin stem, there's, it's, it ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. You know what? I'm going to have to use some epoxy resin on this to, uh, you know, fill this whole area in. If I'm going to make a stem or I'm not going to be able to make one. But I decided I'll just go ahead and get these because the bigger bottles were like close to a hundred bucks. And I didn't know if it was the right stuff to get or not. So anyway, I got these two. Try them out and see. And I also got some uh, 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 right here. Just some color pour to pour in the resin if I want to color it. So we're going to try this out and see if I can fill this area in. And because uh, this is deep, deep, deep. It's very deep down in there. And I'm afraid it's uh, all the way to where the stem would be. So if I turn it, it would just, it would break off. So I'm hoping to do, uh, mix some up. And then pour it in there and let it dry and then continue turning my wood. So we'll see. But right now I'm going to wait because it's very windy and rainy and it's blowing in on me just a little bit. Uh, I'm in the carport and it's still blowing in on me. I don't know if you can see that stuff. 
is, is quite windy. But uh, anyway, we're going to get right to it. Let's mix it together. Now, I got some of that dye. Where did I put that dye? I put it outside, I think. It says to mix it thoroughly. And you want to get rid of air bubbles. I don't know if this is enough or not, but we're going to try because I don't want to waste it. I mean, it is not cheap. This stuff is not cheap. Kind of pricey. They love their resin and epoxy. But I don't even know where it comes from. Some kind of plastics or something. I don't know. I don't know much about epoxy resin. I do know when I was growing up, gee, a long, long time ago, I won't even tell you the date. Um, my brothers would get these bugs and stuff that were in epoxy resin. You know, it was dried up, sealed up in there. And you can take amber, the stone, and amber is uh, petrified resin from pine trees in the prehistoric times. I mean, that's amazing, you know. I'd love to get some real amber this the stone and it's not even truly a stone it's just dried up resin uh it, it's been like rolling in the ocean or something i don't know how it was able to form pretty cool stuff though i'm just trying to get this mixed up and get rid of the air bubbles there's air bubbles all in it still though i got rid of some of the bigger ones but anyway, I got this cool coloring I can put in there. I can put a color in there if I want to. What do you think about that? All right, we're going to pour it in this area. And I, like I said before, I don't know that it's going to be enough. I really should have mixed more. I should have mixed probably twice as much. I just didn't know. I put this bag underneath so that if I have any kind of spillage, I shouldn't because I'm just pouring in the cracks, mainly in the center one. Okay, I'm back, and uh, we're going to continue working on this. Uh, I reckon it's going to be a candlestick holder. It could be a goblet, too. But anyway, the resin, I poured resin in it. It's dry. It's good and hard. I've never turned resin, so I don't know how different it is. Maybe it just feels different. I don't know. I reckon you use the same techniques you would. would. But anyway, it's partly wood anyway, so... I had a little bit of a plastic bag got stuck on there because it was sitting on the table over here. And it's still got some uh, metal in it too now. I still got to get that pried out. But uh, I'll shave it down some there and uh, we'll get to it, okay? And I'll be back. All right. And this is going to be quite interesting to me. I'm excited about it. You know, that you can save a piece even though it has bad 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 area that you'd have to throw the whole thing away and i've thrown away pieces before because of lesser cracks than this so you know the epoxy resin can help you to save pieces of artwork so here we go you mark where that is
So apparently not all this is dry like I thought or something, or it's just sticky on my skin. I hope we pulled it all out just now. I don't know. I'm not going to hold my breath about it, but that came kind of out this way, so I'm I'm encouraged by that. So maybe it's all out. We'll see. Okay, now we're going to work on this area. <laughs> fat wood it's got a few imperfections in it in the cup i'm leaving them alone there's a little hole there a little tiny hole there and tiny hole there i can always fill it in with glue or something if i want to and a little imperfection there and there it was not a catch it's just imperfection of the wood but it's it's dark this is great granddaddy fat wood that's why it's so dark uh it's beautiful the resin is mostly gone, mostly flew out, except for down here. So we're just going to work with it and see if it'll hold together. But that's weird. All right, let's look at it. Okay, there's the bad line area, but it's, it's over this way more than where the center is. And this is also, which is very encouraging. at it okay there's the edge of the rotten area right there now i don't know how far down it's gonna make it but i gotta stop it let's over in here and see if it's gonna make it over here i don't know Let's see what it looks like. Okay, we're past it over here. Uh, I think we can over here. It'd just be really small and skinny. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I had to get some water, take a few minutes of a break, and uh, I think that uh, we can do this past this rotten piece. I think that the stem is going to be smaller than the 
rotten piece itself. It may be a little rotten piece as the stem here, down here, but that's okay. That's great granddaddy fat wood for you. Man, some good stuff though. It's beautiful, beautiful wood. So what I decided to do after all this, and the cup is too small to put a candle in it, it's just going to be a goblet. But it's going to be a very thin stem goblet. So that's why I'm going to make it. It's going to be a great granddaddy goblet. How about that? As you can see, I'm just, I'm just removing just a little bit at a time. I'm getting close to this area also, and I'm I'm a bit concerned. So I'm very concerned. So I this stem is thicker than up here, also. So I need to shave it down a little bit. By the way, in this area here, coming down this way, there's a lot of chatter. So uh, I'm going to let you hear the chatter. Still need to be a little smaller, and I'm still concerned about this area over here, okay? Hooey! Maybe I ought to put some uh, super glue in this area, huh? Looks like a little bit of a crack there, too. to feel a lot of vibration in this area okay so it's very very sturdy it's very very firm I keep feeling it's very firm so I might put some super glue on it for sure Woo -wee! the things you got to go through when you're wood turning but you know it's an experience unlike anything in the world and it is so fun this is good and hard though even though it's rotten. But I am concerned a little bit about this. It, it seems firm and everything, but that chatter and the vibration a little bit. So in order to uh, let's give it some strength in order to stabilize it real good. Let's make sure it's good and solid. We, we put some glue on here. I got some more more Loctite glue, so I ain't worried about this. I need to put something underneath so it doesn't drip. We, we, we make sure that it's good and glued. Woo, it dripped. Before I got that towel under there. All right, let me turn it some so that it doesn't drip so much. i make sure this baby is glued, glued very well. But I think that I'll be able to get past it, even without the resin that was on there. That's a big disappointment, but it you know what? It would have been removed anyway, right? So it doesn't matter. It just I just thought that it was so deep that it went down to the center, but the center is still solid wood. It's, it's rotten in some areas, but it's n not a rottenness that's like punk wood. It's it's hard. It's very hard. So that's good news. So far, so good. So you don't give up. 
just because a piece looks bad like this, it's going to take some work. And just think about it. We worked on this piece for a long time. We had to pull out pieces of barbed wire and, and everything. And see, you know, it turn out to be a beautiful piece of work. Beautiful goblet. And yeah, it can be a holder. It can be a candlestick holder too still. I can put a candle in it still if I want to. But at this point, I'm just going to let it be a goblet. Okay, here we go. Let's get back to our piece here. Let me make sure there's no blurriness on the video camera itself. I see blurriness. That looks better. Okay, I probably put my popcorn fingers on the screen there. The screen. Okay, here we go. Um, that looks better. Very good, very good. Oh, I got bugs flying all over the place too. Let me move this out of the way and let's get finished with this. I think we can do this. What you think? I'm trying to make it skinnier to match this up here. It's got to be skinnier. But anyway, I think that I can go ahead and move forward. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I had to. It's a couple of days later, and uh, I just wanted to show you the Granddaddy Fatwood Goblet. Grand, great Granddaddy Fatwood Goblet, excuse me. Uh, uh, Looks like I got a tiny piece of streak of a hair on there or something. I don't know. But anyway, here he is. Isn't he handsome? Look at that. Look at the colors of the wood. It's darker. Much darker. 
Let's, let's make sure you can see it very well. So, uh, he made it. Uh, that's great granddaddy fatwood for you. There's the stem area where it, we, we worked, I worked on that, uh, was really, um, it, close to rottenness, but it's not punk wood, like I said before. It's, uh, very resinous and, and dark and, uh, old. There's no doubt about it. But we got past that area that was, you know, uh, missing wood, basically. So, anyway, um, he made it. And there he is. He looks good. Grandpa looks good. Great granddaddy. Look at there. And, you know, I wanted to get another cup. I just did recently to show you the difference in the color. Okay, here's a cup I did and it looks like it has a face on the front. It's hilarious. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know what kind of face it looks like. Y'all can tell me what you think it looks like. <laughs> I don't think it... I don't know. Well, it is hilarious. But anyway, it's beautiful. Beautiful goblet. I love making goblets. I thought I, I loved making ferro rod handles, and I do. But I really love making goblets because I love to make this, the stem as thin as I can. And this stem probably could have been thinner. But, you know, as tall as it is, it's probably a good 12 inches or a foot. Now, there's a tiny, tiny area here. There's a little chip. And, and I could have cut it off smooth, but I decided to leave it alone. Because I've already worked on the cup. I already worked on the whole thing. And I didn't want to take a chance and something weird happening. But anyway, I want you to see the colors. That's the main reason why I brought it out here. All right. There's Granddaddy. And there's a, a regular color of fat wood. These are both fat wood. Okay, you see the color and how dark it is? Very, very dark and old. No telling how old it is. I know I've said that before. You see, the normal colors of fat wood are usually the ambers and oranges and yellows and tan and stuff like that. So you can see a huge difference in the two colors, okay? So you can tell that this is very, very old. Very, very old. And, uh, you know, I love dark fat, fat wood. It's beautiful stuff. So you can tell. It, it, it's as dark as oak wood. It really is. It's as dark as oak. But it's not oak. It's, it's fat wood. You know, I burned it. I smelled it. Mm, it still smells like fat wood. Even with the... Uh, clear gorilla clear glue on there but anyway i just want you to see the difference in the two this cup here i got really thin but i was able to do that only because it's big and wide i was trying to make more like a candlestick holder i can stick one in there but it's still too small on the end because it's sloped in since it's sloped in it, it just you know, I'd have to cut it off down here somewhere in order to do that. And I just thought, nah, I'm just going to leave it alone. So I, I got plenty of goblets and plenty of candlestick holders and everything, but I still make them anyway. But anyway, I just wanted you to see the difference in comparison. Oh, it's got a piece of cat hair on there. Uh, that's what happens when you have cats. There'd be some hair floating around. Uh... But anyway, I just want to show you that, and I thank you so much. And let's let's do one more thing. Let's shine a flashlight in in both of them. Okay. This one. This one's showing very well the colors of resin. Okay, hold on a second. Let me turn around to that face. That's hilarious to me. I love that face. <laughs> and look at that. <laughs> that is hilarious.
hilarious. The things you can... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, no, Mr. Bill. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know what it looks like. That's a hilarious. That's a funny face. But anyway, uh, the, the fat wood, the, the darker one is thicker. There's a little bit down here at the bottom. But you really can't see much because it's a thicker cup. This is a much thinner cup. And this is lighter. So, you know, it could be that when fat wood gets old like this, it loses some of its uh, resin. I do not know. But, it, I mean, it's still fat wood. So, anyway. The, the lighter color is more beautiful when it comes to shining light in it. But this, to me, color is more beautiful. Just the outside color in general. It's just more beautiful. All right. And I just want to thank you so much for coming and visiting my channel. And I apologize. This was a bit of a long video. I tried to shorten it and cut it and shorten it. I just kept on and on. And I'm so, uh, you know, and then I got to put this on in. So, uh, you know, I understand. I completely understand if you don't watch the whole video and you skip through it. That's fine. I've done that to videos. Uh, it's not it's not a sacrilege. It'd be okay. You know, you can do that. All right, and I thank you for all my new uh, subscribers, and I thank you for my visitors. I thank you just coming by. And y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.